Well, what is going on YouTube? Welcome back to A Therapeutic Edge. Uh, today on the table in front of us, we have a knife that I was sort of waiting for. I want to be clear, this is not it, but this is important. This is the Dirk Pinkerton designed Little Main Street. This is a little tiny pocket dropper that uh, Concept Knives came out with a while back. It is very well made. It is very small. <laughs> of that, there is, you know, no doubt. But it is a great design. And I held it and I said, you know, I sure wish you guys would release a bigger version of this. And the folks at Concept said, well, hang on. And then shortly thereafter, they dropped that. This is the Main Street. And as you can see, <laughs> it is bigger than the little Main Street. Um, again, this was a fantastic design. Oddly comfortable for such a tiny knife. Uh, good action. Well-made 154 cm blade steel. Or is it one? Yeah, 154 cm blade steel. Um, this, the big brother, is also 154 cm blade steel. It's just uh, bigger and an excellent knife all the way around. Now, I love Pinkerton design. Um, you guys know this. I have a bunch of them. The only one I have near nearby at this point, well, <laughs> is the Artisan Proponent, which is a monster. But look, Pinkerton designs knives with a ton of variety and a ton of flavor. And uh, he really wanted to make something small and pocketable, which is where the mini the little main street came from but he also knew that his design was good it was good and so it needed to have a more full-size knife and here we are now the full-size main street is a fairly straightforward design it is a liner lock with a solid 45 percent lockup it is steel liners carbon fiber traditional barrel spacers it's got this traditional dirk pinkerton little bit of jimping back here it has a titanium clip which is very nice the blade shape itself is a super straightforward design, nice and slicey. Now, there is an aesthetic touch. Um, the jimping on the blade is mostly just for looks. It's flat across the top. If you come in at an angle like this, then you can absolutely feel it. But for the most part, it just looks cool. It is thumb stud deployed. And by the way, they work very, very well. Um, I love this thing. I really do. But then again, I like most of Pinkerton's designs. I think the Little Main Street is an excellent pocket dropper. Uh, fifth pocket knife, backpack knife, something to just chuck in a pocket and roll. Uh, Women Carry Knives likes this quite a bit. And again, getting a knife this small so that someone with my size hands can use it effectively is good design. Ramping it up without losing any of that is also good design. And this is very, very comfortable. I'm gonna leave the uh, Little Main Street on the table here. Leave its big brother on the table. Some size comparisons just for fun. Uh, here it is with the uh, bug out in between the two. This will help you understand exactly how small the Little Main Street is and how large the Main Street itself is. It's not that much bigger than a bug out. It is a little longer at both ends and a little taller course a lot heavier but um it's not still it's not still it's still not an enormous knife which i really like what can we compare it against that's bigger well here it is against our friend the uh, rat model one and as you can see the main street is smaller than the rat although if you line these up you do get more cutting edge well particularly because this is the uh, bj hill special with the choil added the choil um this kind of thing makes me super happy. Um, I did a whole video on, uh, let me rephrase that. Uh, I want to do a whole video <laughs> on knives that come in multiple sizes. I really like that. You know, on the table, unfortunately, I don't have a lot of variety, but you know, this is the, uh, the mini Presidio 2. And of course the full size Presidio 2 is a favorite knife of mine. Uh, this is the full size proponent. There is a mini proponent. Knives that come in two sizes allow, and of course there's the Rat Model 1 and the Rat 2, which is much smaller. Knives that come in two sizes enable an excellent design to get into more hands. 
This is that deal. I really like it. Let's get some basic specs out of the way on the main street here. You're looking at one, two, three, and a little over a little over three and a quarter of cutting on just at three and a half inches of uh, 154 cm blade steel. It has a nice, generous grip. So just behind the swell, you get one, two, three, and three quarters to the edge, and of course four and a quarter up to the end. If you need to roll your finger off the back, there's plenty of knife. It's not super thick. If we put it on the lines right here, you will see, or perhaps you can see, uh, that it is a little less than a half inch. So it's nice and lean, which is good. The closed profile, uh, inch and a half overall from the tip of the blade to the uh, bottom of the scale here. But you know, this is a small piece, right? If we go that way, we're at an inch and a quarter. It is a nicely sized pocket knife. Now this blade shape lends itself exceptionally well to draw cuts and push cuts. It is not, um, it's not a slicer. In other words, if you're using this on a cutting board, you're not really going to be able to do that great work with it because there's no belly. But for straight daily cuts, EDC tasks, packages, rope, cardboard, stuff like that, this is an absolute monster. And I know because I've carried it to work and used it in just that way. And it is fantastic at what it does. Now, you will notice that the thumb studs are well into the cutting path. Um, you know, some people that really bothers. Uh, I've never had that much of an issue with it. And I think it's because I'm not cutting stuff that's super fat. I tend to cut up towards the front end of the blade anyway. So it's never really been an issue for me, but for some people, they may not enjoy that. The clip itself is not what you would call deep carry, although it is nicely placed. Uh, let's see, what do we have? Oh, the magic envelope. As you can see, there's a little bit of knife sticking out, but it's not bad. And the clip is really well done. Um, lots of ramp, right? Good spring. Good room on the inside there for larger pants. This is a really nice knife to carry. Now, I mentioned there's a couple of barrel spacers. It is a very clean design, right? Just two barrel spacers. The uh, liners on the inside are milled out. Uh, to relieve weight a little bit, but, um, you know, it's, it's a hand, look, you guys know I like heavy knives. This is not a heavy knife, but it's not, as I said, it's not a, you know, it's not a bug out either. What the hell did I do with it? There it is. It's not a bug out either. Right. But then again, not much is. The knife overall, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, just at eight inches, right? It is a nice, it really is a nice size. I love this thing. It came out of the box. Uh, now, in the past, um, art, uh, excuse me. <laughs> I'm looking at my proponent still. Uh, Concept Knives has been very generous to me, which is very nice. They have sent me a number of things to review. But as with all things, you know, that's not everything. I bought this with my very own money because I was so excited to see them making a bigger version of this little thing that I jumped on the big one. Now, these are available at White Mountain Knives. Um, in a number of styles, they've got different scales. Um, you can change the colors up if you want. You don't have to get the one in carbon fiber. I like this look, so this is the one I went for. Let's weigh this thing and see how much the full-size Main Street weighs. In ounces, 4.1. Again, uh, it's a little over that ounce per inch that some of the hardcore EDC folks like. Uh, for me, a four ounce knife is actually almost a little light. I like heavier knives than that in my pocket generally, but this has been a great carry. So either way, it is fine with me. Oh, let's do grams. 115 grams. Really, it's not a heavy knife. It is marvelous. We've talked many times about my love of this sort of straightforward rectangular handle. Uh, this is a perfect example of that. This allows pretty much any size hand to get a solid grip on this thing without forcing you into particular spots along the handle. It's very nice. The, uh, the lock bar is really long. Look at this, the relief cut for the lock bar is huge. And that means that you can get to it from down here. You can get to it from up here. Uh, it's really versatile and it is chamfered really nicely. There's no sharp edges on this thing. 
except right where you want it, which is very nice. Now the closed length, one, two, three, four, and a little over four and a half inches closed, which makes sense for the size of the knife. These are only about 80 bucks. They really aren't expensive. And I'll tell you something, 80 or 90 bucks, uh, White Mountain Knives, a bunch of people have got discount codes, coupon codes you can use. You can even knock that down a little bit. For the money, this is an absolute killer knife. It really is. 154 CM is fantastic blade steel. It's not new and fancy. Oh, there's a little grit on the blade because I carry this thing all the time. Uh, but it is absolutely functional, wonderfully stainless, holds a nice edge. And for whatever it's worth, I don't know how they're doing their heat treat because I'm not in the factory, but this thing has held an edge as well as any of my other 154 CM blades. It really does a great job. Now, I do want to point out something. Uh, there was a little bit of a oops in the factory. Um, I'm not sure that's going to show up, but we're going to try. The blade stamp on this generation, this first run, still says Little Main Street, which I pointed out to Concept, and they said, oops. <laughs> you know, it happens. So my guess is if you get one in the next month or so, a couple of months, you'll probably get one that says Little Main Street on the blade. But please know, this is the Main Street. This is the Little Main Street. This little tiny thing. Uh, at some point, they will correct that, which means those of us that get one of these now down the roadways, we'll actually have one that's more kind of special, really. Factory errors like that are, they happen. It's not a big deal, but um, they're not super common. And so if you get a mismarked blade, it adds a little bit to the sort of, I don't know, cool factor, to me at least. You may not like that. You may want to wait a couple of months until they produce another, another run, in which case, <laughs> dog hair. <laughs> Oh my goodness, until they produce them without that mismark. But for me, I am super glad I have this one. And in general, I'm super glad I have this knife. If you have small hands or you're looking for a very light fifth pocket carry, like I said, chuck it in the backpack, the Little Main Street is an excellent choice. However, if you're looking for just a fantastic work knife that also happens to look really cool, the full-on Main Street may be a good choice for you. I hope you've enjoyed this look at another concept knife. I have absolutely enjoyed having it. As I said, this one is mine. It is in my collection. It'll probably be in my collection for a while. If you have any questions about this knife or any of my knives, feel free to ask down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe on your way out. We'll see you next time.